Hey, what up? This is Simon So I just tested AMZ chart and this too blows my mind. And I'm so glad to review this right now because it is just simply amazing, right? Uh, so what AMZ chart does, it's a product opportunity uh, research or finder tool for Amazon sellers, right? So if you plan to sell on Amazon, whether in the US, you know, multiple different marketplaces right you can make use of this too and if you are you know planning to private label or retail arbitrage this too is going to come in very handy right and it does a lot of stuff it helps you to uh look you know filter down products products to find opportunities you it also tells you what are the best categories and subcategories to sell in uh, or at least how how these different markets are uh, you know working and it also tells you uh, it, it also does a similar feature as cerebro in helium 10 right so that means you can actually do a reverse asin lookup and find all the keywords that this particular listing is ranked for and you know there's a whole bunch of other stuff right so before i you know uh you know just try and uh you know put, put everything out there and explain it to you let me show you how amz chart works now well, but before i dive into amz chart be sure to hit that subscribe button if you like to see more digital marketing and e-commerce content right so here we go so here we are in amz chart i'm going to jump into products first and i just have to tell you when i was using when i was testing this just a couple of minutes ago i have found a lot of profitable products and let me just tell you uh, a little bit of my background i have been selling on amazon i have done a uh, half a million dollars uh in a year right in annual revenue on amazon and i have also uh, used a viral launch i've also used helium 10 but i will tell you this amz chart has way better um you know data or kind of filtering to help you to find uh more product opportunities right so if and maybe it could also be that a lot of people are using helium then a lot of people are using viral launch so if you're using those tools to do your product opportunity research um maybe that's why a lot of them are already saturated because they kind of present you the same uh data but uh, amz chart supposedly it's a little bit you know it should work the same way but but it is different right it's, it just somehow gives me uh, a lot of unique product uh, ideas that i could find through this part, uh, product filters right here so uh, the first thing to note off is that amz chart supports these uh, nine different marketplaces which is us germany japan france india uh, Mexico, Spain, UK, and the UAE, right? So it doesn't support like uh, China, which I think Amazon has folded in China, uh, Singapore, and also uh, Canada. So those are the ones I know. Uh, I, but I think they are like Amazon Brazil, whatever it is. You know, I could be wrong, but these are the only nine marketplaces that AMZ chart supports okay so i'm just going to jump into um, uh you know filters so there are some common filters in here but i'm just going to click on more because this um you know once you jump in more it's just much more powerful right it's just the the way that it's filtered uh, stuff down is just amazing so the first thing is you can pick category itself so you can pick for example i'm just going to pick sports and outdoors right here and in sports and outdoors you can filter down into subcategories again right but i'm just going to pick the top category right here and the next thing is you know uh the filters right here right? so you got estimated sales and bsr i'm going to pick more than a thousand a month right so this is based on a month sales or 30 days sales okay and then next is the bsr in the primary category so i don't really care about bsr at all because you could have very low uh, very high vr as in like your rank 50 for example in the in the best seller uh in that particular category itself but you could be sell but the market could be very small and you're selling just a couple of units 
per day, right? So then you know that could uh, that could be not a good idea, right? So I don't really care about BSR ranking at all. Uh, next is reviews, right? So you can pick, uh, you can of course put in a minimum and maximum. I'm just gonna pick pick fifty one to five hundred, right? So uh, so the reasoning, okay. Firstly, is that. Uh, you can use AMZ chart for retail arbitrage and for private labeling, right? So I am mostly a private label seller, and I will tell you that, uh, you know, the I would want something that has a lot of sales, right? So the demand must be there. Next is that there isn't too much competition, uh, yet. So for example, this. Uh, I I'm picking fifty to fifty one to five hundred, right? So if I pick too little, like one to fifty, it's hard to gauge whether this. I mean, you could jump into it, but it could be that this product is too early in the trend that you don't know how it's going to perform, right? Um, you know, it could die off very quickly. You never know. So, but the next, uh, so I would pick something between fifty one to five hundred, um, so that I could pick something that is not. Uh, that is somewhat proven that there is a sustainable market in there, but not too competitive uh, as well, right? Because once it goes above five hundred or thousand, it becomes incredibly difficult to compete with those competitors. Okay, so next is review change in a day. You know how many reviews are they getting per day, and then the ratings of the uh, product listing itself, right? So this is uh, good for private label sellers as well so for example if you are in a particular product itself and this particular product for some reason all the competitors have very low ratings okay then what you can do is you can go to uh, a manufacturer and come up with a better product right come up with a better product and then you would have you know the highest ratings and you know kind of beat everyone there right? you can dominate that particular product itself so that could be very useful next is the buy box seller so buy box seller will be like uh, amazon is selling the product itself so uh, amazon selling is a little bit complex because amazon themselves they sometimes purchase stocks and sell themselves as well so maybe certain diapers amazon sells it themselves so they stock up and they sell it themselves right and uh, next is the party seller so that means it's anyone else other than amazon and none is i did i uh basically i don't think that there's anyone selling at all uh basically the listing is down i guess and then where's the seller's location okay uh that means this would be fpm already i guess you know so next is the buy box stock so this is very good for retail arbitrage sellers so let's say uh, in the buy box there's one competitor and he has let's say less than 20 units less left so what you could do is that you have stock in hand right you can buy out all his inventory okay and then ship in your inventory and take over the buy box so that you can start selling and make money right so you get rid of the competitor you you can even take over his stock and then put it back into amazon and sell it right so you can you know take over the the the, part, the buy box and and make money from it right so next is shipping from right so it's either fba or fbm so fba means that you park your inventory with amazon and then fbm means you are going to ship it to your customers yourself then you got buy box uh, price okay and then the number of sellers on the buy box itself and then the weight and uh, you know release date so sometimes a a uh, product listing can be up first and then the release date is way later okay so kind of sort of like uh you know uh let people know that you have a product coming on something like that okay and then you can put certain tags in there right so sometimes your listing could have best seller tag it could have amazon choice tag uh it could have bought together tag you could have uh, a plus content tag it has a uh, video or whatever it is okay so you can put that all in okay and i'm just going to search right here and let's take a look at some of the product ideas that we can find right so i can see a lot of very good ideas here like for example the first one right here it's not a product that i would sell but i can tell you that you could make money from this because this sports bra itself sells 1600 units per day okay uh 
and it only has 269 reviews so it's very early in the uh you know selling stage and it only has and the rating is not very good it's 4.3 right so 4.3 you would see four star sorry you will see 4.5 stars i think right sorry you 4.3 you will see 4.5 stars okay so uh so it's not you know perfect score but look at the second one right here right so you have 4.7 right so 4.7 would actually still give you 4.5 uh as in four and a half stars Right, so yep, I so I guess you know four point three doesn't really matter, but uh, it doesn't have a lot of reviews yet. So if you jump in and sell this uh sports bra itself, you could uh you know still generate a good amount of sales, right? Okay, maybe if you sell like three hundred a month, so like ten units a day, that's still good, right? So next one we have pickleball pedals, right? So this is something that when I saw this uh before I did this video. You know, I was I was saying that okay, this is a great idea, right? This is a great product because the first thing is I have no idea at all what the heck is pickleball, right? But I did Google it up and then I realized that okay, this I've seen some people in my neighborhood they are playing pickleball, so uh, so then I realized that okay, hey, pickleball, so that's a a, a, a good product to sell, and it's fifty six dollars, right? So you can sell it for fifty six dollars. That's a decent uh price that you're selling at, okay. And then uh you know as we scroll down we have laser pointer blah 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 I don't think those are good ideas and then the next one right here is this uh you know basketball net right so this basketball net right here sells for a lot of sales a day you know we're talking about uh you know hundred more than a hundred and the hundred and thirty units a day, right? So that's a lot of sales, and they only have fifty six reviews right here. Okay, but and and then their rating is terrible. It's only three point zero, but the the selling price is only fourteen dollars, right? So so the good thing is that this product sells very well. So you have the market. You have you definitely have the demand there, but uh and and the quality of this product is terrible. But at the same time, they are selling it very cheap, right? So you may have to sell a little bit higher, but you can still get good sales out of it, I would say. And then the next one is Ring Toss. I would say that this is also a very good product to sell. Very decent sales, right? Uh, about 70 a day, okay? And not too much reviews yet. I mean, 400 is quite a bit, but, you know uh it's i would say that's it's all right and uh you know thirty five dollars that's a very good price point to sell at okay so next one you know we can go on to the next page i'll just pick like another one or two more ideas and just kind of give you an idea on how to use amz chart right so the next one is the volleyball net i think this is amazing okay as long as it's ideas that i've never thought of before then it's a great product to sell okay so it's something that you don't see very common then those are the products that you want to sell uh next this one is about 50 units per day uh good amount of reviews okay but not too much that you can't compete at all 36 dollars is good price point right and then you got the kar uh, karate jacket right so karate uniform right here uh 1300 i think this is decent and i think karate it's you know i i generally don't like to sell clothing because there's different sizes and all that but this one goes for 54 dollars and generally there's not a lot of colors to deal with so it's just sizes so like maybe like small medium large xl xxl i think that's uh you know manageable right and then there's o there's so little reviews right here so i would say that this could be a good product to sell uh let's see what's this sweatband workout gear set okay i don't think that's something that i like golf right i don't think that's another one that we can sell as well as a you know private label seller okay uh baseball belt no idea what this is but it could be a good idea to sell okay uh, because I don't have no idea what that product is. Same thing for this fingertip rope, you know, very unique product. No idea what that is, but it's selling well, good reviews, right? So, you know, something to consider, right? And then, 
and I guess that's about it, right? So you can see just by scrolling through a couple of pages, I could find quite some ideas already, right? So um, definitely those are good product ideas to jump into for Amazon, okay? So next is we are going to go into keywords, right? So this is a very powerful feature in Amazon chart, okay? So I'm gonna grab this ASIN number right here. Okay, so we're gonna pick this uh, gaming chair, right? So this gaming chair, we're gonna enter it in here, okay? And it's gonna tell me, uh, like how many, uh, what's the what what keywords is this gaming chair indexed for, right? So it's indexed for gaming chairs for teens, PC gaming chair, gaming chair, chair gaming, blue gaming chair, black gaming chair. So it's ranked for all these keywords and it tells me um, what's the monthly search popularity. Okay, so basically this, uh, so for example, gaming chairs for teens, it has a thousand over search volume, but it's rankings. Okay, so what monthly search popularity is, is that uh, the way that Amazon works is that your rankings always fluctuate, uh, you know, every time different people search on Amazon itself, but the rankings more or less uh, stay within the range, okay? So this one, uh, the range is about 90, right, on average. So if you were to search for gaming chairs for teens, it will likely be somewhere around rank 90 on the search results, okay? So that's very low, okay? So it's probably not giving it a lot of uh, sales at all. And then, for example, like this one, okay, it probably ranks number one uh, for game chairs. And this is a search volume right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on this, which gives me additional details, okay. And it tells me that, okay, so, uh, so within, within game chairs, I think, uh, you know, it kind of gives me this, okay, so, sorry, game chairs right here. So... Uh, it tells me the monthly search volume, how many products are there in this keyword, uh, and how many purchases are they getting from this uh, keyword itself, and what's the conversion rate. Okay, so that tells you a little bit about those keywords. And next is keyword trends. So keyword trends is very straightforward. It just kind of gives you what are the top keywords of the week and uh, what are the fastest growing keywords <coughs> as well so a lot of people are searching for apollo dance socks okay so so maybe this product is in trend and you want to sell it okay so that could be an idea you can filter down into different categories and marketplaces as well okay and it seems like you only support seven different marketplaces for the keyword trends feature okay and then we've got charts so charts would be your best seller ranking charts new releases charts and your movers and shakers so best seller is straightforward uh, new releases will be new products movers and shakers are products that sun that are selling well right now they are moving up the best seller rankings so same thing you can filter them into different uh you can uh, filter them into different categories, different marketplaces, same here, but only for three different marketplaces here, right? So US, Japan, and India only, and uh, into different time period as well, a week or a month. Next is market. So market tells you the different categories and subcategories, how they are performing, right? Or what is the stats right now? So for example, home and kitchen, right, which is the top category, okay, uh, it has 4,800 over, uh, sorry, 4,800,000 over listings, and it has 683 million reviews, and it's gaining about 3 million reviews per week, and it's, uh, it's getting, uh, the, and then the average product price, and also the top 20 listing what is the uh, average number of reviews uh, and then the release date right so you don't really have, have to care about release date it's like when the product goes live kind of something like that 
okay so uh so i mean having a later release date means that most of the products uh that means new products are being launched i would say into the uh, mark, uh into that category itself okay so next is uh, tracking so you can insert certain products to track their performance so uh so you can see let's say for example this product right here there are two sellers and they have no sales uh, yesterday and this is the price they are <coughs> 871 bsr i'm not really sure i think so <coughs> okay so the right side indicates the change okay so that means they are ranked 871 uh, for the category that they're in and then the reviews are you know 32 over thousand and negative reviews right so negative reviews uh 700 okay so that's the uh, this product right here and you can insert idea uh other products as well maybe like you want to put in your competitors products you can do so as well okay and then custom categories so let's see what that is So custom categories, uh, let's see. Define your competitive products to create an exclusive market report and analyze more accurately. So that means you can pick five different products. That means your competitors, right? You can put them in here and then you can see what's the market size. So that means you, you kind of pull everything together and see how are they doing right that means this particular product that you want to jump into how how are they doing so like what's the market size that means what's the total revenue of this five different products and then what's the average bsr of these five different products what's the average price what's the average number of reviews what's their seller attributes and uh who are the top seller countries for the products and the market share as well okay and lastly is a uh, toolkit, right? So I'm not really sure what this is. So let's see. So I don't think this is related. Uh, okay, so it's, I guess, a new tool, a new, new feature that's coming out. And then we have image mapping. Okay, so uh, what is this? Not really sure what image mapping is. It looks like it widens the picture. Okay. Uh, it's basically a background removal, I think. Okay. I think it's a background removal but maybe I gotta upload my own image for it to work okay so let's try uh, what else do I have maybe like one of this photo and just try okay it's too large uh, let's see Hey, let's put this in it should be pretty obvious that I'm the product okay so download I don't think this is working right now so maybe there it's, it's still in the works probably so because I can't download the picture okay so uh, next is your revenue calculator, right? So this is very useful. You can use uh, the Amazon, you know, profit calculator. But this one also adds in a, little, a few new fields right here. 
uh, and you can also you know convert them into different currencies very very quickly to know how much you need to spend and all that right so this is your how much you want to spend on ads and what's the promotion fee and off-site promotion fee that means you want to market outside of amazon right so all these are all built in here if it's mvm then you've got uh, fpm calculator as well and last one is a store anal uh, analysis so let's see what this is okay okay so i don't really understand what this is but let's just kind of grab this one utopia deals okay Okay, um, I don't think it, it does anything. This kind of tells you like who are the top seller, uh, seller stores on Amazon. Okay, and you can filter them down a little bit. Uh, yep. Yeah, so they have tons of products. And I guess that's all I have to share about MZ chart. I think that this too is just simply amazing. Uh... I think in terms of what it does, it seems to be better than Helium 10 and Viral Launch. So yeah, because with Helium 10 and Viral Launch, I would probably take like 15 to 30 minutes to find a good product to sell on Amazon, right? But with AMZ chart, you know, just like a couple of minutes, I can find something good. So I would say that AMZ chart seems to be a good product, uh, seems to be a good software for Amazon sellers, right? And I guess that's all I have to share. Definitely uh, one of the best softwares that I have tried. Highly recommended. Uh, 4.5 stars out of 5 for me. I mean, 0.5 stars would be like some of the missing stuff, you know. Um, hardly, you know, you get 5 stars, I would say. Um, definitely a 4.5 stars software for me highly recommended so if you are jumping into amazon definitely grab emz chart uh, and that's all i have to share if you enjoyed this video to give me a thumbs up let me know what you think about emz chart and how it helps you in your amazon selling journey or would you want to get emz chart so and dive into amazon selling as well let me know in the comments and if you know anyone who is into amazon selling or jumping into amazon selling be sure to share this video with them and also uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed whatever you're seeing uh, today. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.